So apparently there's a TF2 update, and I know literally nothing about it. I just loaded it up. I just know that it exists, and now I'm gonna do my like right re live reactions to it. Okay. The tough break update is coming. So basically, winter break, I guess. Haha, uh -huh, it's funny. It's almost miss miss break. Everyone gives the tree stuff. <laughs> Classic TF2 humor. Tough break upgrade featuring 26 new contracts. Huh. I guess that's gonna go till January, or is it gonna be a three month one? Well, it's not a season, so it'd probably just be till January. So it's gonna be a daily one like the Halloween. Including weapon specific contracts. Weapon specific contracts. Well, it's <laughs> it's a good thing I own like literally every item in the game because I won't craft two items unless I have like two uh, one of every item. So that's foresight by me. This update will also ship new weapon weapons collections. I don't know what that means. Obtained through two new weapon. Oh, the uh, terrible reskins. Nobody cares about uh, drops. Completion awards. Okay, so okay, more stuff I can sell on the market. Three new taunts. Gameplay balances! Yes! And more. Uh, click here to check for details. Okay. The tough break! Okay. New Mexico Department of Labor has found the administrator in violations of safety laws, <laughs> including 106 violations. Employee electroshock face trunk end protection act. Holding must state a mandate to fix her take her first vacation. <laughs> I get one day off a year. <laughs> also means that she'll be working on the clock since she two contracts won't assign themselves. So she doesn't even know how to take a vacation. Lookout point. Sometimes there's like hidden things on these screens. Tough break campaign, six dollars. God damn it. And I'm still gonna do it because oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it. Just because it's always worth it. Last time I made like fifteen dollars or something. Uh, Pauline, okay, okay. These must be the new skins nobody cares about. Spy contract. Port. Oh, damn it! Can't see. Uh, the Badlands. Oh, a map. Twenty-six new contracts. Tough break campaign in three months. Event that will test your skills against 26 contracts with one of a kind weapons include excluding weapon cases as rewards or exclusive weapon uh, weapon specific contracts will give you the chance to learn new tactics with your as your favorite mercs so basically they're encouraging people to use new weapons cuz if you're like me well, if you're like me you use like you have like three different loadouts that you just keep cycling the th uh, through and you never use anything else and this is trying to encourage you, hey, maybe you do want to use the buff banner instead of the conquer or battalion's buck up. And I'm like, no, I really don't want to, but they're like, hey, contract weapon specific things. Okay. Don't have an ordinance, you need to finish weapons. Don't worry, seriously, calm down. <laughs> yeah, again, that doesn't apply to me. Uh, Four new collect. Okay. Uh, wow, these actually look decent. That one looks terrible. This one looks terrible. Terrible. Decent. Terrible. 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 Decent. 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 Decent if it wasn't for the yellow. 
terrible, terrible. Uh, it just goes on. No, oh, cycles through. That looks decent. Rip from awards, contracts completed, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I thought that was a new weapon. <laughs> no, it's just a okay. Two Fort Bedlands, Dust Bowl Gravel Pit. Contract stamp. Buy these. Nexus. Tough Break Campaign. Puts your contract. Inventory. Just click it to, deact to activate it and transfer. Upgradable contract stamps. I don't understand how that works. Cosmetic case. Don't care. Community maps. Vanguard. <laughs> this is Vanguard. Uh, never played on that. Never played on that. Never played on that. I've played on that. I like this map a lot. Uh, new taunts. Don't care. Okay, I saw this yesterday, and they ruined it. Like the music used to be really good. Now it's like intentionally awful. Tough break gameplay changes. Here we go. Oh! Okay. Okay. Oh. Base weapon switch speed change from 0.67 seconds to 0 0.05. Okay. So this is something that I've wanted them to do for a very long time because I'm a scout slash medic main and engineer. So all those classes rely on switching their weapons constantly. Well, may not medic as much, but you always have to switch your weapons with those classes a lot. So I always, I've always wanted, uh, wanted like a pistol that increases scouts like switch speed. But now they're just implementing it for all classes. So this is also kind of like a nerf to the degreaser because the degreaser is innately fast, but now it's going to be relatively slower compared to everything else, which is already a little bit faster. But I, uh, I, I really want to play with that. Upon respawning, friendly players will show an outline for 10 seconds. Hmm. That doesn't matter for Highlander, because you should know where your team is anyway. In pubs, that's going to be pretty interesting. Well, but if you're spawning, you'll know where your teammates are anyway, because you, uh, you were spectating them. So th this changes nothing. Updated various weapons descriptions for battle functionality. Okay, that's what they should be doing. Multiclass! Panic! Oh, good! <laughs> the multiclass stuff is at the top instead of literally at the absolute bottom. This is good. Okay, panic attack. Worst weapon in the game other than the sun on sec. No longer auto fires when fully loaded. Shots can be held and released at will. Okay. This is interesting. Now, you know what? <laughs> I'll just explain this because this has been a really, really, really long time coming. There, I might as well explain it at the beginning. And since they're starting with this, I, th I think it's a good time to. This is like a perfect storm to explain this. In my mind, there are three ways something can be imbalanced. They can either be imbalanced, uh, like mechanically. They can be imbalanced numerically, or they can be imbalanced like conceptually. Now, what do I mean by this? The if something is imbalanced like mechanically, it's balanced like just the mechanic of how a certain loadout works or a certain like gameplay style works makes it imbalance. The extinguisher was not overpowered. It really wasn't. It was overpowered with the degreaser. It's just that those two weapons happened to complement each other so perfectly that it made it overpowered. The weapon itself was fine. If you used the back burner and the extinguisher, it's like, okay, whatever. But it just happened to be too strong with the, uh, with the degreaser. And these are usually the easiest to fix. Well, they're kind of easy to fix but sometimes they can't be it's kind of it's kind of weird to fi uh, fix weapons like that usually you just have to nerf them now an 
an item that's balanced, like imbalanced numerically, is is really simple. The numbers are just wrong. Like, what's a weapon? The Liberty Launcher. That weapon is imbalanced because the numbers are just too small. Twenty five percent less damage is just too little. Like, it, it, it's not good because they just need to change the number, maybe make it fifteen percent, maybe make it ten percent. Just like make it, like change the numbers a bit so then it makes more sense. There's nothing wrong with the concept of a weapon, like, it works just fine, it's just the numbers are too small. Now the last thing a weapon being balanced conceptually is like, there is nothing you can do to this weapon because the concept of the weapon itself doesn't work. And these are just weapons that are just so completely like screwed that there's nothing you can do you have to rework it completely because it doesn't work and this is the problem that the sun on a stick has and this is the problem the panic attack has the the sun on a stick the only time you would ever want to use that weapon is when you are out of scattergun ammo and you are out of pistol ammo and you still have to fight somebody and you will always have somebody on fire to like it, it just the weapon itself doesn't make any sense. This is the problem that the panic attack had. The weapon was supposed to allow you to, like, panic. Like, let's say you're playing soldier. You get ambushed by a scout. You panic. You use your, your panic attack and shoot them. But wait, I have to reload six shots and then shoot you. But then you're dead. It didn't make any sense. This kind of helps to mitigate that because now you can re preemptively reload so then when you get m ambushed and you panic because you're low on health and then then you release release the barrage that makes a lot more sense so this is a good change i'm probably still not going to use it <coughs> excuse me because i like the uh, stock shotgun too much but i'll have to try it <coughs> okay reserve shooter no longer boosts all round switch speed. Okay. Changes nothing. Instead boosts switch to speed by 20%. And switch from speed by 15%. They buffed it. No longer mini crits any airborne targets. This is what people have been complaining about. Target must be forced into the air via jump, blast jump, knockback, or air blast, or grapple. This changes nothing, because people just air blast, blasted you in the first place, so literally no change. They buffed it. Um, uh, half of Zaruichi, no longer considered a sword. Increased holster and deploy time and increased range. Okay. Honor bound change deals 50 damage. Deals 50 self damage on holster if no one was killed with it. Cannot holstered if player is below 50 life. And no kill was made. So you won't accidentally suicide. 100% life restored on charged and 50% life stored that can result in an overheal no random crits okay this is probably the most important change for pubs hold on 100% life restore on kill change to 50% life gain on kill that can result oh I get it okay so instead of like this is the thing that is most annoying let's say uh, you were playing a pub and a demonite is running at you with 10 HP. They crit you, and now they're at 100 HP <laughs> or 200 HP. It, it, it was silly. Now they will only heal them 100. But to cap, uh, like to balance that out, it'll overheal them as well. So it's more of a snowbally weapon instead of just being a bullshit weapon. <laughs> uh, pretty boy's pocket pistol. Increased health recovered on hit from three to five this changes nothing because that weapon is ass now mad milk extinguishes ally will no longer reduce the cooldown well, oh will now reduce the cooldown by 20 percent that's good i like that a lot because i use the milk a lot but um um and 
it was always kind of awkward. Uh, oh, should I extinguish this teammate? Or should I like save it just in case that, uh, I need to use it on a heavy? Well, I'd always extinguish the teammate, but now it'll reset the cooldown by a fifth. I don't know what the recharge rate is. How do you not know this off the top of my head? Whatever. It should be like 20 seconds. So, this is good. This is a good change. Rap Assassin. Useful, useless weapon. How'd they buff it? Now, 42% more festive. Wow, what a change. Uh, ordnance shatters on all impacts. Okay. Dealing small amounts of damage in a small radius. Okay. Bleed effect will still apply on the targets that is struck directly. Okay. Ball recharge rate increased. Damage penalty reduced. Okay. Because the scout needs an AoE damage? Still probably not going to use that. Beggar's Bazooka! Decreased blast radius by 20%! Thank you, Lord Gaben! <laughs> Implying Gaben has anything to do with the balancing. Um, um, Conquer. Uh, doubled health regeneration rate. I like that a lot. Because I remember I was using the Conqueror the other day, and I was just kind of like jumping around. And... I was kind of like caught behind the enemy team, and I thought to myself, wait a minute, if I just like sit, sit up here like in-house, or I was playing on Vita or Product, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to like sit here and regenerate a little bit of health, you know. Oh, I just realized I'm at like 40, per I'm at like 40 HP, and this thing only recuperates 2 HP, which means it only recu recuperates 1% of my hit points. So... I'm just gonna sit here for like a minute doing nothing and not contributing to my team and then I just like walked off on China and killed the sniper anyway. And it's like so the health regeneration was too low. So is is the point that I'm making. So it was only like one percent. Now they've increased it. They've doubled it. So now it, it takes thirty seconds to recuperate from from like zero to full. Now uh, instead of taking like a full minute. <sighs> regeneration Right, is now decreased if the player has been recently damaged. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Base jumper. Removed hidden property of uplift when on fire. No. Rest in peace. Freaking... Well, this item's even more garbage than it was before. Market gardener. Added 20% attack speed penalty. This changes nothing. Airstrike. Ooh. Reduced blast radius by 20% when rocket jumping. Twenty-eight percent reduction when compared to stock. So when you're rocket jumping and shooting downward, the explosion radius is smaller. That is a very good nerf in my opinion. Because now it actually takes a little bit more finesse. You can't just like jump and like like that onto the ground and the, the sniper dies or the medic dies. Like you you actually have to like actively try to aim. That's good. I like that. And it also doesn't nerf my playstyle with it which is get a medic to pocket you while you have the air strike and then just have like a bottomless clip like rocket launcher because and and not jump at all. I like this a lot. This is good. Very good change. Uh sniper, cleaner's carbine, reduced fire rate penalty from thirty five to twenty. Okay. Added crikey meter, which is filled by dealing damage. Mini crits no longer activate by kill, but instead activate on an alt fire when crikey meter is filled. This weapon is still Garbo, but they're at least trying to make it workable. 20% faster. So it's basically just an SMG with slightly uh, less ammo. I think it could work. It's okay. Quadrupled the health regeneration? Holy crap. That's so good. That's actually so good. Regeneration rate is now decreased. Okay. That's actually so good. This weapon, okay. 
way, 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 way back in the day, this weapon was awful. It was actually the worst weapon in the game other than the Sanana stick. So, hold on. I'm just going to do that. Um, so, it, it used to be awful, like it slowed you down. Then they buffed, then they changed it so it didn't slow you down, but you took more damage, so it was still awful. And then they removed the damage, and then it actually became viable, other than Jurati, or the Razorback. So, like, if you were in a spot where the Spy couldn't get you anyway, or the Spy was Garbo, like, then you could use this thing. And maybe if you didn't need Jurati, then you could use this thing. And I actually use this thing in pubs quite a bit. This buff, oh. This is just, this is actually a really, really strong weapon now. I like this a lot. I think I need a strange co cozy camper. <laughs> okay, Jurati extinguishes allies. We do okay. It's same as milk. Good. I like it a lot. I love Jurati. Pyro. Pyros like to collect rainbows. Extinguishing a teammate will now return twenty health to the. Got some cranberry juice. Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't know how to react to this. Like, do you have any idea how much I extinguish teammates? I have ended, like, several games with, like, 16 bonus points on Pyro. The Pyro doesn't need to be buffed as much. The Pyro doesn't have to steal health kits as much. Pubbers will actually extinguish you. This is probably the most important change, like, in the entire patch that I've read so far. I love this. I... I can't even. I actually can't even. I can't. I can't stare at this thing forever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to move on eventually. But let me. Let me just absorb it a little bit longer. Okay. <sighs> Consecutive air blasts no longer prevent enemy from air strafing until they touch the ground. No. No. No! I was like the only person I knew that did that. Okay. Uh, for those who who don't understand, okay. So basically, when you air blast somebody, they're in the air. When you are in the air, you can air strafe. Which basically, without holding W, you move your mouse in the direction you want to move, and then hold the uh, the movement key of that direction. So, it was really funny, like to play on upward and have some 
Pyro try to air blast you off the cliff, and then you just kind of like air strafe to the right constantly, and you just land in the same spot, and you wouldn't be air blasted off the cliff, and they'd be like, what the hell, what's going on here? And then you just kind of like walk away and laugh at them. But now you, oh my god. I was like the only, and th I'm, I legitimately think I was the only person that knew about this mechanic, because I never saw anybody else do it. This, hmm. I think they nerfed me, boys. <laughs> Flamethrower's base damage fall off over distance has been decreased, resulting in higher damage output range. Okay. <sighs> I'll check these later because I don't want spoilers in case people are reading the patch too. Um Okay. So they're trying to make the flamethrower viable, but it's not gonna happen. No longer boosts all around switch speed. Instead boosts switch to speed by sixty percent and switch from speed by thirty percent. Remove damage penalty. Increased air blast cost by twenty five percent. Increased afterburn penalty from 25 to 66. Okay, there's a lot to talk about here. Um, okay. So, the degreaser used to be the absolute objective best flamethrower in the game. Because the weapon essentially had no penalties. The whole point of the weapon is that you didn't use it. You didn't use the fire, and you didn't use the, uh, uh, you basically just used it to proc air, uh, proc your flare gun shots. But now, and, and then it had the sw faster switch speed, so you could air, uh, air blast projectiles better. Now, what was it? It was 65%. Now, I would bring up a calculator just to see the total changes, but I'm not, I I'm just gonna wing it for now. <laughs> basically, um, you can still, like, twitch, press Q, and reflect something, which is good, because it's the switch to speed is uh, 60%. Flare punching is going to be more difficult, because the switch from speed is 30%, and I love my flare gun. So this is a little bit upsetting. They removed the damage penalty, so, it's still dis uh, so it still does, like, the same amount of damage as the... Uh, What's that? I haven't called the stock flamethrower. And they increased air blast cost by 25%. So it's 20. So it's going to cost 25 per air blast. Okay. And they punished afterburn slightly. Which, uh, this, this change, again, this changes nothing because, oops. Uh, this changes nothing because you don't use that weapon to uh, burn people anyway. <laughs> so. This change and this change mean nothing. This change, I want to say is a big deal, but I actually don't think it is. Because it's only 25%. That's like, the, that's 25 ammo cal cost air blasts. So you get 18 air blasts instead of 20, or 17 instead of 19. But if you're using that weapon, you're probably going to be next to a dispenser anyway, because you're uh, playing with your combo. So basically what this does is this nerfs not defensive pyro, but offensive pyro. So if you're on offense and you're trying to attack and you don't have a dispenser with you. So nerf to offensive pyro, no change to defensive pyro does, so this is overall a nerf I'd say. Yeah, overall nerf, yeah, for sure. Uh, remove damage penalty, okay. Uh, when activating umph, the taunting power gains temporary invulnerability and immunity to knockback effects. Thank god! Because, <laughs> uh, when you saw a flog pyro taunting, a lot of people would, like, air blast them away, because, oh, they can't move, let me air blast them away. You don't want to do that, because that interrupts their taunt and allows them to start attacking immediately. <laughs> so they're like, they've I guess uh, Robin Walker or Lava Toad 
or like I Frost Toad. Yeah, not Ice Frog. Frost Toad. Um, like they figured out. Hmm, people are too brain deficient to figure out to not air blast Flog Pyros, and it kind of doesn't make sense that you would be able to do that anyway. So let's just remove that mechanic entirely. Extinguisher. Properties changed. Okay, they reworked the weapon entirely. Uh, one hundred percent chance to burn against to to crit against burning players. Okay, thirty three percent damage penalty, twenty percent slower attack speed, seventy five percent slower switch to speed. Okay, I'm gonna pull up a calculator this time. So, what is it, 65 times 3 times 0.67 uguale 130. <coughs> so it can't one-shot medics. Okay, that's all I care about. Medicinal man. Medics now have slightly higher health regeneration when healing a hurt patient. I like that change a lot. Very good. So now you, so now when you're like it, let's say a soldier bombed you, and your pyro wasn't brain AFK, and you actually killed the uh, killed the pyro, and now you're kind of like pocketing your demo. Before you'd have to kind of like position yourself. Oh, I'm at 40% HP. Let me like slowly edge away to this cliff and try to pick up a health kit. Or you'd have to yell at your patient, "Hey, I'm hurt. I'm gonna go get a health kit." Now you can, you, you you can still do that, but now it's not gonna go unpunished as much if you don't, because as long as you're healing somebody, you'll regenerate more. During Uber setup time, Uber charge rate is now increased by times three. <laughs> Okay, that changes nothing. Amputator taunt now activated by alt fire. Okay, healing done with taunt now grants small amounts of uber charge. Ooh, I used to say to people that were taunting with the uh, with the uh, amputator, hey, you know you're actually hurting your team by doing that because you're not building uber. No longer the case. Very good. Vaccinator. This thing... <laughs> I really don't like the Vaccinator, just because it interrupts the whole, like, the flow of the, like, of the kind of, like, medigun meta, I would, I guess you could say, but, like, there's no real way that you can make this thing. Like, the old one, like, it just feels so underwhelming because you have to like be so mechanically like skilled at using it just to be on par with the other mediguns. So it, it always felt so underwhelming. But now they're gonna make another change to it, and I want to see what it is. Okay, remove 10% health regeneration properties on resist. Okay, added slight overcharge build on pro oh. Oh, oh, ho ho, ha ha. That is a very interesting change. Now, oh, ho ho ho, that is a lot of things you can do with this thing now. Okay. Increased Uber charge rate from 50 to 60. Holy crap. Reduced overheal charge rate from a 33% penalty to a 66% penalty. As this penalty is applied after the base increase. Huh. I like this a lot. Very, very good changes. Now, you're going to be able to, like, shield people all the time. This is a very interesting change. I'm going to start using this thing. But I might have to download a mod for it because I can't stand the noise of the, the look of it. Crusaders crossbow? No, please no. Healing players with an arrow now grants a small amount of- YES! 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 <laughs> oh, I'm gonna-
gonna have fun with that thing. <laughs> the crossbow was already the the primary I used the most, but now, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder how much it is. I hope it's something like five. That would be a lot. I hope it's not something like one, because that means nothing. If it scales with the amount healing, that would make the most sense. I hope it scales. Yeah, for sure. I hope it scales. Quick fix. Fix cases where quick fix overcharged players could still be affected by certain knockback effects. I didn't even know that existed. Bug fix. Th this should have been like under bug fixes. <laughs> Players can no longer capture objectives while under the effects of Quick Fix. Well, that sucks. That really, really sucks. It just sucks. They nerfed it. Yeah. Nothing more to say there. The hood cloak meter now displays motion and pain. When cloak and dagger and dead ringer effects are equipped, okay. Dead ringer initial damage reduced when feigning increased to seventy five percent from fifty percent. That's good. Very good. Very very good. I like that a lot. Again, this changes nothing with how I use the dead ringer because I use it to escape, not to fight. Like some people I know. Fix the bug where ammo packs for dead players would not fill the bicycle meter. I've noticed that. That's a, I've actually noticed that a lot. Fire immunity shield no longer appears when we. Okay, good. Bug fixes. Very, very good bug fixes. Like, these are actually significant. These are significant bug fixes, unlike this one that I didn't even know existed. Heavy! Hold that. Shouldn't heavy be like up here? I thought they were going in class order. I guess not. Whatever. Um, spy. Oh no, heavy. Heavy. Fist of Sea removed deploy time penalty. Sweet. Added penalty of increased holster time by a hundred percent. Okay. Whatever. Increased holster time penalty. Okay. Now these, now heals 50, health on kill, damage received and dealt increased by 30%, removed health penalty. Uh, what's my calculator? I must have closed it. Um... So, 300, times point seventy. way nerfed. Yeah, your HP is way lower now. Oh, I closed it again, whatever. Eviction notice, that provides 15% move speed bonus. Ooh. Increased damage taken. Okay, so garbage. Demo slash demo night. <laughs> I like how they have to actually put that discrepancy in now. Shield bash now damages at all ranges scaled by distance. I like that change a lot because a lot of the times I would like while well, using the uh, tide turner, I'd charge and like do a 180 to hit the person behind me, but it would do like no damage. It's pretty annoying. Melee damage boost after shield bash is based on amount of charge consumed. Now provides a mini crit. 25% deplete on full crit and. 60% undepleted. Hold on. <laughs> I was not focused on that sentence. 
Melee damage boost after shield bash is based on the amount of charge consumed. Now provides a mini crit at 25% depletion and a full crit on 60% time depletion. I read that sentence this time. Okay. Cool buff. Okay, for those who don't, don't understand, basically, um, before, shields would only grant you the crit at the very end of your charge. Or, when you bashed somebody and you need to crit immediately. Now, if you've spent 60%, it will always crit. If you've spent at least 60% of your charge, it doesn't have to be at the end. Which is very cool. I like that change a lot. Charging now removes debuffs from Demonite, Bleed, Fire, Mad Milk, Jurati. Cool. It's a purge. We Huskar now. <laughs> Or Ursa. Ursa from Dota. All swords now have a slower deploy and holster speed compared to base weapons, in addition to their increased melee range. Okay, that's cool. Don't think that changes anything. Splendid screen. Removed ability to deal charge impact damage from any range. Now native to all shields. Now increased recharge rate by 50%. Increased blast resistance from 15 to 20. Okay. I, I can get that with that. Pretty good. Titaner, no, please don't nerf. Now grants mini crits instead of full crits on charge bash. Reduce resistances to 15. <laughs> well, uh, I think I'm gonna start maining Splendid Screen instead. Back to Splendid Screen, boys! I don't know, the, the extra turn rate is just so good. I actually don't know. I'm going to have to play with that. Charge and charge. Don't care. Um, Claymore. Remove charge duration. Bonus kills. Now restores 15%. 25 health on kill. Removed. Health penalty. Good. Now increased damage taken while active. Okay. Garbage item now. Um, Persian Persuader. Ammo pickups grants granted health instead of ammo. Uh, that was kind of the whole point of the weapon. Added penalties to reduce primary and secondary ammo. Oh, you can actually use it with grenade launchers now. Um, ammo pickups now replenish range or charge. Oh, sweet. Uh, now grants charge me on quick. That's really good. Prison Pursuit is so good now. Holy crap, that's so good. Oh, and it still has the 100% faster charge rate. That's really good. Fizzle time increased from 2 to 4. Good buff. Very good buff. Very, very good buff. Definitely needed it. 100%. Little Porkabor. Base damage increased from 35 to 55. Added 20% fire rate penalty. Added 100% to switch to. Can you one-shot snipers now? Can you one-shot meds now? I really hope you can now. I actually don't know what the old what the old new caber is hmm. I, s I hope you can one shot snipers and meds now loose cannon reduce projectile speed now now a visible attribute okay reduce cannon impact damage from <laughs> from 60 to 50 damage also scales with distance Reduce knockback from cannon hit. Okay, nerfs all around. Definitely needed it. Very good. I'm happy. I, I remember <laughs> there was a joke I made. The, there was this website where you could like make a like atomic bomb, like little pictures. And I remember like taking that and like putting in big like black numbers, 141 on one of the one atomic explosions. It was pretty funny. Uh, engineer. Oh, we're done. Uh, engineer. After removing Sapper from a sentry, there is now a point zero five second delay before the sentry is active again. Huh. Hmm. That helps a lot in pubs. 
buff the pub spy. Because <laughs> it, it takes a lot less finesse to disable a sentry. And you don't, also don't have to like keep holding your mouse one button on a sentry. Pretty good. Sentries bought into respawn door. No longer detonate outside of man versus machine. I literally had this happen to me yesterday. I literally had this happen to me yesterday. It really does feel like that they are making this, this patch for me. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Jag, added damage penalty against buildings. Now takes three hits to destroy a sapper. Oh boy. That's... That's a nerf. Rescue Ranger per bolt heal reduced from 75 to 60. These are pretty heavy. The, these hurt. These hurt a lot. They're trying to discourage you from using the Jag. Because... Yeah. Because before the Jag had like a... Almost the same H, HPS as uh, as the uh, normal um, wrench. So people would just use the... Uh, the rescue ranger to heal their buildings anyway, so nobody used their wrench to heal buildings. But now, um, uh, this is nerfed, and this is added, so now the jag is really in trouble. I'm still probably going to use it, but I'm going to definitely get punished now. And... nothing else. Good patch. I like this. I like this a lot. Makes me happy. Especially this change. This change, and this change. These make me very, very happy. Oh, and uh, these changes. And this one too. I like those a lot. Oh, this one. Yeah, that, one, that one's really good. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Yeah, sweet. Good patch. Good patch.